All right, so we are looking at place value continuing, and we're going to get into rounding a little bit as well. Um, but first, uh, we're talking about an odometer. And we should probably break down these words real quick. Odometer and dashboard. So dash the dashboard of a car is this part that's giving you all this information in front of the driver so they can see what's going on. And specifically, the odometer uh, would be, let's do a close-up, the odometer tells you how far a car has traveled in its whole lifetime. So this car has been traveling 91,308 miles probably. Usually it's in miles or kilometers depending on your country. But that's an odometer in a dashboard. And they're looking at their odometer, odometer to see how far they've driven during these fishing trips before and after each one. So now all you need to do is put them in order, right? Um, and they're all five digits. So simply go digit by digit to figure out the order. The first one's done for you there. And next, look at the first digit or the 10,000th place. They all have a nine. So now we look at the next digit, the thousands place. And it looks like this one has a zero in the thousands place, which is less than the others. So that number would be next, and then just work your way down through those digits from least to greatest. And then we're looking at um, rounding numbers here, basically. Or what are, the, what are they closest to? My favorite way to go about this is with a number line. And I, I know that this is going to be um, between these two somewhere. So in the middle of those two, you would have 60,050, so 60,034 would be right around there, right? So it is closest to 60,000. Um, same thing with this one, all right? It's going to be somewhere between these two numbers. Those are your two uh, choices. So in between those, you would have 194,500 right between those. So where would uh, this fall? it would fall as less than that, so it's closer to this one. So for each of those, just think about uh, where they would be. And now, luckily for these, they're giving us the number lines to help us. So where is 567? We're running the nearest 100 here. 567 would be right around there. So it rounds to 600. 717 would be right around there, right? The middle 750. So it rounds to 700. Just use the number line to help you. Next is the nearest <coughs> thousand. So, uh, but let's try this one. 5,099. Uh, In between, you're gonna have that, right? So that's close there. It rounds to 5,000. Um, and I guess the tricky one here would be, uh, 7,500 because it's right in the middle, right? Let me choose a different color. Uh, that's exactly in the middle. And if it's right in the middle, you round it up. So that would round 8,000. So again, <clears throat> you can draw little arrows if you want to imagine where these would be. Uh, on these number lines, that that will help you visualize where to round them. And finally, we've got uh, some girl named Amanda with a high score on her video game. And she needs help to write it down. And I think the easiest way to go about this is to think about the commas here. That's going to help you break this down. So these would be uh, the millions, thousands, and then just the end of it with uh, hundreds, tens, and ones. So the part that matches up, 943 million. 943 million. And the next part is the thousands. And the last part <clears throat> is the hundreds. So just match those colors and you should be set and then you can compare her score to Caleb 
in who has the highest higher score. And that's it. So thank you and goodbye.